I mean, wow, this mouse has to be one of the shiniest mice in the world. But that's what Mad Cats is. It's a brand that's over the top and radical. Some people aren't into all the glitz, but I must say it is a brave choice for the gaming brand. Before we start this review, here is a quick message from our sponsor. CD Key Office is the best place on the internet right now to get Windows OEM keys, new games, and essential software keys, all for a really great value. A Windows 10 Pro OEM key is on sale right now, and once purchased, CD Key Office will send you the key in which you can then use to activate your Windows software. And don't forget, you can use TNO20 to receive a 20% discount on your purchase. Visit cdkeyoffers.com to get started. So the Mad Cat's Rat 8 or RAT8 Advanced Gaming Mouse is the latest release in the Rat Gaming line. It features a whopping 11 buttons and has so many adjustable parts that it's easy to get lost in fine tuning your setup. Gamers though will love this mouse for sure as it proves that Mad Cats are focusing on a wide variety of gamers rather than just honing in on one part of the industry. On top of your usual left and right clicks, but there is an extra button which is pressed with your first finger, the scroll wheel and an adjustable DPI button is present here as well. Down the left hand side are two standard thumb buttons, a second scroll wheel, which isn't exactly a scroll wheel in the traditional sense as turning it either way can perform two separate actions and act as buttons. Now I can only really think of leaning where this could be useful in games like squad or hell let loose there is an extra button that will sit at your thumb tip which uh, is supposed to help you with precision shooting with a sniper rifle in game down here is also a thumb rest which very much sticks out of the edge of the mad cats rat 8 mouse now around back you can find an adjustable palm rest depending on the size of your hands and it moves in and out on a clip system Underneath this is an adjustable weight set, so you can choose how heavy you want the mouse itself, depending on your playstyle. And there are parts of the right hand side that are also interchangeable, so you can uh, connect a rest for your pinky finger if needed. It's all very innovative, and as I said, customization is huge here. And you even get a couple of adapters in the box which have different textures depending on your preferences. Now, mine I've gone with the rubber hump on the mouse here just to rest my palm on there but there are smooth finishes as well that you can choose from the only issue is though with all of these customizations it makes the mad cats rat 8 a very fiddly mouse to get right now i adjusted the rear palm rest and it came off completely and it took me ages to get it back on its run again now there's also the opportunity here to make the mouse wider and skinnier depending on your preference you need to use a hex key for that and the hole can be found in the center of the mouse. But by the way, this mouse is pretty much open, meaning you can see its insides. Now it's a Mad Cat's style and it's pretty unique to them, but the hex key is stored uh, on the actual mouse itself and it's very easy to remove and use it to widen the mouse if desired. But the question is, with all of this customization, is the Mad Cat's Rat 8 a comfortable mouse to use while gaming? Well, unfortunately, not so much, especially if you're someone with smaller hands. Now, the Rat 8 is pretty big as it is, and I can't deny that. But by the but the way the rear of the mouse is higher than the buttons, it makes the rear of the mouse almost stick into my palm in an uncomfortable way. It almost feels like the mouse shape doesn't fit my hand, like if you put on a left shoe on your right foot, for example. Sure, you can walk with it, but it's a little uncomfortable in doing so. That's how I felt with the Mad Cat's Rat 8 Advanced Gaming Mouse. Saying that, the Rat 8 performs well where it counts though. Inside, it's all being run by a Pixar PNW3389, which can achieve a 16,000 DPI sensitivity and a 2000 Hertz polling rate, which is a very interesting number. Most gaming mouse these days do achieve an 1000 Hertz polling rate. So for Mad Cat's to double that, it's decent. But it's a shame that the software where you change all of your settings looks a little dated though. The Mad Cat's Rat 8 Advanced Gaming Mouse sure is eccentric, but I think I like it. It certainly gives us PC gamers something to tinker with, as I know most of you out there like doing anyway. It also gives users the chances to adjust the mouse to something they find more comfortable, whether it's a bit of extra width or length for your palm, or weight or even customizable buttons. There's something that can be fine-tuned to suit your playstyle. Now the RGB effects are pretty bare bones, only illuminating the internals, but what can I say, it's not 
really Mad Cats' style. They love their retro, cyberpunk, steampunk, futuristic looking mice, and the red shiny color only accentuates that. Thank you very much for checking out our video review of the Mad Cats Rat 8 Advanced Gaming Mouse. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Please subscribe to keep up with our latest tech and gaming videos. And also let us know in the comments down below what you think of the Mad Cats Rat 8 Advanced. If this is a mouse you would go for, do you love it? Do you hate it? Let us know in the comments below. We also stream over on Twitch 8.30 onwards on a Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. That's British Time GMT. So if you have a question about tech, want to join us to play some games, then come and join us over on Twitch, 8.30 p.m. GMT, British time, onwards on a Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. As I say, thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.